What is up, YouTube? It's day adventure time. We're working our way back into the wilderness. We just pulled off the main road into these boondocking spots, just checking it out. And we can't help ourselves. We're like, ooh, let's go see what that spot's like. So we're in the wilderness now. Can't take off on your dirt bike out through this stuff. Where are we trying to get to today? Oh, uh, we're trying to get to, um, it's called Seafoam Lake. So we'll see if we can make it or not. It's, there's a road off of the main road that could be a little shaky. So we'll see what it looks like when we get up there. I love finding stuff like this. I, I just, it amazes me. You just stumble onto these little meadows. Well, we made it to Bear Creek. <laughs> Here's a funny sign. That's a funny one. I don't think that's Forest Service. <laughs> Tell you what, we've been seeing it week after week here, but the clarity of these wild rivers is amazing. So no matter where I take Shelly, she's always on the lookout for another parking spot. She's already got like 50 of them in her catalog. Well, I think she might have me on this one because this does look like a pretty awesome campsite. The thing is, you guys all know is we have to, we have to have pretty big spots to be able to pull the bus into and to turn around and get back out. But this looks like it might be doable. I have to check the entrance of it. Can you believe this spot? I mean, the, the creek is right there. Right out your back door, man. Yeah, it looks like you could definitely turn the bus down there, too. Somebody's got a spot for hanging their deer. So that'd be right out your back door at this spot. What do you think? Well, we came up over the top. I guess we go down the other side. Holy crap. Every time we get out on these roads and you feel like you're the only ones out here. And we just came, had two Jeeps coming this way and the pickup caught up behind us. So I wish we would have filmed it, but we were too busy. <laughs> Trying to get off the <laughs> to road. To get off the road far <laughs> enough to let everybody by both ways. But we thought we were going to try to get to Seafoam Lake. And we got the definite info from the other guys that we wouldn't make it in the pickup. So the, the two Jeeps that were coming down. Yeah, they had been up there and they said, I wouldn't try it with your pickup. And, but they gave us the tip that if we go about 10 more miles, we'll get to a really cool lake. Joseph Lake. That's worth going to, so. And the, the pickup that was behind us, um, 
um, we let them go ahead of us, and that is actually where they're heading, right? I, did they go into Seafoam or to Joseph? No, no, they're going to Joseph because they had been here seven years ago, and we're really looking forward to coming back. Boy, they haul ass down these roads, too. So here's what our roads are looking like, guys. Oh, this is way better. This is than way it. better than what we've been having, and we're kind of getting down at the bottom now. So we've made it to the guard station. So it's right up here. The Seafoam Guard Station, that's where uh -huh. we're at. The Seafoam Guard Station. Okay, so there's a sign saying Joseph Lake is six miles on up the road. And it's kind of cool, this area right here, there was like three creeks that all came together into one. How's it look on your side? Mm. Yeah. Okay, keep moving forward. A little more intense than you thought? A little bit more of an adventure than I thought we were going to have, guys. I have to be honest, but... <clears throat> it's had some really rough road sections. <laughs> I have to say, it's kind of eerie driving through this today. Huh. Here's what the problem with this road is, is all these little snags hanging over in the road. Yeah, they like to reach in and grab you. <laughs> and here's a good corner for you guys. This is kind of what it's like right now, climbing up out of the valley down there where the fire was. And hopefully up here on top. <laughs> And Randy's doing amazing driving. But we gotta be getting close to Joseph Lake. Did I make Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> One log was sticking out a little bit far. So we're starting to see picnic tables down below. There is a campground back in I here. I can see the lake right but, there. Yeah, we're getting glimpses of the lake back over here. Oh, how cool is that, you guys? Yep, and here is the parking. Oh, guys, we made it back in here. This is Joseph Lake, and it is incredible. Nestled in here below around the mountains. There's a little dam right here behind me that drops down into the lower part of the lake. I'll walk over there in a moment. But wow. So here's the dam. And it looks like you could drive across if you chose to. And then this just takes you on down to the lower part. So here's where that water is dumping into the lower part of this. And oh, wow. 
I mean, I see fish out here jumping, guys. This is just a simply beautiful, well worth the drive in. Joseph Lake, incredible. This was worth the drive, huh? Don't you think? I'm still in a little shell shell shock from the drive. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a long drive coming in. Pretty bumpy. And yeah, a little nerving at times. <laughs> but wow. Okay, guys, my driver's getting tired. It, that trip in pretty much beat him up. It was a really, really rough drive in. And I'm so grateful he knows how to drive this way. So um, we're going to just start heading back out. We had a little bit of lunch. So we're going to head, you know, over the mountain, down the valleys, over the mountains, and all of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this venture as much as we did. And we love sharing the journeys with you. Know that. And we will just catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.